What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here, and iOS 9.3.2 Beta 1 is here. So this comes very soon after 9.3.1 released, and it's a bit of a surprise. So usually we don't see a beta for a point X update, but in this case, we will probably see one or two of those before the final release. So what's new in 9.3.2? What does it change? You know, what's different? So I actually just want to say that 9.3.1 fixed a huge issue with 9.3, the Safari crashing. So for a lot of people, that issue has been resolved. Now, what else is there to fix? Well, I actually ran through some sub menus, 3D toggles. I try to find features in every place that I could, and really there are none. The actual change log is just bugged and fixes. So Apple doesn't tell us if there's anything different. And this is such a small update, so I wouldn't expect to find anything in it. But how about bugs and fixes? Which ones were fixed? I want to go ahead and reproduce the speed bug first and uh, see if that was fixed. It would be a shame if Apple patched that. So I'm going to go ahead and enable assistive touch right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So, whoa, what just happened? There? All right. I think I, uh, I think I got it. And yeah, so this bug does work. I was able to just reproduce it on 9.3.2. And uh, there we go. So that is proof, no animations. It works wonderfully. So what other bugs still exist? I wanna see if any of my personal bugs that I found uh, Apple patched. So that includes 3D touch. Let me find one with a toggle. And it looks like none of them. Let me download one. All right, so you need one with a toggle. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold this, click in the bottom right and now my display froze over, boom. So respring bug still works on 9.3.2. Let's see if my notification one still works where we drag it up and then drop it and click the home button. Yep, still works. Home button does not work and no notification center or control center anymore. So my bugs that I found still work. The speed bug still works. I don't really see what other bugs Apple would fix. Maybe under the cover, I know a lot of people were having issues with mail actually. So that may be an area uh, where Apple could improve things in. And there are two other bugs I did wanna talk about that Apple patched silently overnight. And this happened just a little bit ago, a few hours ago. This isn't courtesy of 9.3.2, but Apple did patch that new bypass. So in uh, iOS 9.3.1, 9.3, really any firmware, you would just ask Siri to search Twitter and uh, she could go ahead and search it and you could you know, get into contacts and photos. So search Twitter. Yeah. Now that's automatically what you get. So that bypass is gone. I was surprised that it was a server side issue and it was fixed with just a Siri you know, improvement. The other one was actually where you would ask Siri to enable low power mode and true tone display at the same time or night shift, I mean. So that bug has been fixed as well. So overnight, two bugs patched to the bypass and asking Siri to turn on low power mode with night shift enabled. I'm a little sad to see that one go, it was really cool. Uh, also, I did wanna mention before and after updating, some caches were cleared, so I had 127 and I jumped to 280 right after updating. So a little bit of an improvement there. But otherwise, let's test the speed and see if there's anything different there. All right, and here is what the Geekbench gives me on 9.3.2. Here it is on 9.3.1. A considerable difference here, wow. This might be worth doing a speed test with when it releases. So I haven't noticed any uh, actual difference, you know, navigating or using the device, but you know, that a Geekbench says it's a little higher, so it may be, but otherwise, 9.3.2 guys, what this means for the jailbreak, I really cannot say because at this point in time, we have no idea what's going on. Pingu is the team that is most likely going to release a jailbreak tool on which firmwares, what time, you know, that we can't say, but stay on the oldest firmware you could possibly be on. And by the way, Apple has stopped signing 9.2.1, so you can only downgrade to 9.3 now. If you're on 9.2, 9.2.1, stay there, guys. I mean, have patience. But anyways, that's 9.3.2. I'll keep you updated as uh, production and new betas go on. Peace.